Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Victoria 2 with the HFM mod and playing as Belgium. So last episode, we kicked off our war against France and Russia. At this point, really, all we're doing is waiting on war score. So let's go ahead and kick this up to speed four. We are, uh, we are definitely going to be suffering for this economically, if uh, I remember correctly. This is the second time I've had to record this because the game crashed mid Recording last time. Yeah, we're 45 grand in the hole. So that's not great by any means Let's just go ahead and get our sieges though. See if we can make this peace happen Because I do want to just end this war. We have more than enough war score Russia Yeah, it's I don't know what the deal is like Russia just does not want to make peace on this Maybe Germany will attack him. That would be funny That would be highly amusing if Germany came in and attacked Russia while we're at war with him that would be highly amusing. So we do have a few more occupations in France to get. Sweden has pieced out once again. That's not surprising at all. Can't say I blame them for doing that. Definitely a smart move on their part. At the, Okay, so we're over our naval force limit. Uh, let's see here. All pops in Belgium become... Uh, all pops in Belgian Rhineland become liberal. That's okay, because Belgian Rhineland is literally one province. And it's a mess anyway, as far as ideology goes. It's a mess. So we are going to just be sitting here awaiting at this point. There's a few more occupations we have to get done, which is not terrible. There we go. We'll let Spain finish off some of the occupations as well. Let's see here. Um, I guess we'll go consciousness. That was a lot of consciousness. Let's see. Um, You know what? We're going to go to... Uh, let's see. Healthcare. Hmm. I think we're going to go for a trinket minimum wage. There we go. That makes our upper house very much more conservative, which is good for us, I feel. I feel like that's definitely a good thing. So we're just going to be sitting here right now. Our armies need to reinforce, which is partially an issue because we don't have the soldiers to reinforce. We're still trying to encourage soldiers. Uh, let's see here. So let's go ahead and decrease opinion of uh, Austria with the Swiss. That's fine. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be okay for now. I mean, Germany is trying to influence the Netherlands, but they're already in our sphere. We can do the same thing to Italy in the not-too-distant future in Switzerland. We're out-influencing Russia in Norway, which is awesome. A lot of people are influencing Switzerland, which I find quite amusing. Let's go ahead and, uh, actually, let's expel advisors from, uh, Austria, I think that's going to be just fine. They have the most influence there, so that's fine. We did burn quite a bit of our own influence within Switzerland. So let's see, 62% war score. Peace? They would not accept. Okay, so we're just I think we're really just going to have to sit on it at this point. There we go. We got breech-loaded guns. Let's go for iron breech-loaded artillery, as that was unlocked in 1850. Yeah, this, this war should be over relatively soon. Well, I'm just going to let Spain finish the sieging off, and I'm going to just chill here with the army. Yep, we're just going to chill here. All we, yeah, we just need to make peace at this point. We just need Russia to be like, okay, you've won. I mean, France is about to be fully occupied, so I really, really just don't think like it's going to be an issue. So our factories are making quite a bit of money. We are still subsidizing them is the thing, so... That is something to be aware of, for sure. We are definitely... Yeah. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money. How much... Yeah, we're going to probably end up with about 55, 60,000 uh, pounds of debt after this. But, if as long as we can get our toit, as long as we can snag ourselves our toit, I am going to be incredibly pleased about this. Alright, yep, we have a few more occupations down here in the south of France to pick up. But I'm literally just leaving the army here for the time being. I don't want to take the chance of Russia just, like, marching through a gap in our lines. 58% war score. Occupations still need to get done. I mean, yeah, we should have this in the bag. We may even demobilize for this. I'm tempted to. I'm really tempted to, just so we can try and attempt to fix our economy before this war is over. Let's see, though. Spain's still finishing off their occupations. So that should give us more war score, which is going to be absolutely fine. Ooh, philosophy. A little extra prestige. Lovely stuff. Iron breech-loaded artillery is almost done. We'll have that done pretty quickly. 
Portugal, you better pay your debts, buddy. You better pay your debts. Can we have our peace now? We have 58 war score. They still don't accept. France is basically... France is fully occupied at this point. There's two provinces left to occupy. Uh, let's see. Intellectuals. Yeah, intellectuals can gain some consciousness. I suppose let's go assist Spain sieging that. That's going to be annoying to wait on. Let's go siege there as well. And I guess we'll send this 40 stack of conscripts out to uh, assist Portugal. Yeah, the sooner we can get this war done, the better. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, let's look at our upper house. It's a mess. It is an absolute mess. I do not want socialists or communists to uh, take over. So I think what we have to do, honestly, I think we have to go back to conser encouraging conservatism here instead of encouraging soldiers in the outlying provinces. That is going to probably leave us with a bit of a deficit on soldiers, but we just need some more loyalty here. This is dumb. This is dumb. All right, so this siege is done. Excellent. That is done. Let's see. Can we make peace now, Russia? Russia, just, it's over, man. It's over. France is fully occupied at this point. It's over. Just stop. France is already dead. France is already dead. Nope, not quite, actually. Not quite. There's one more little province here. So we're going to go assist. Obviously, we're going to be taking more attrition for that, but we can send this 18 stack up home as well. I think this is the last of our main uh, stacks. Yeah, this 18 stack and this stack are uh, the last of our main army at this point. This is just uh, conscripts. Nothing but conscripts. All right, France is fully occupied. Can we make peace now? We have 62% war score. They're still not going to accept it. You know what? Whatever. We don't have military access. Let's just let's bring the armies home and wait, I think, is really all we can do. Let's go ahead and demobilize. We might as well at this point. Let's just demobilize. There we go. So our army is definitely hurting after this. It's definitely hurting. There's our iron uh, breech-loaded artillery. Let's go ahead and pick up military statistics, and then we'll go for army risk management after that. Shouldn't be too bad. We have 82% literacy, almost 40 research points a day, which is spectacular. Definitely spectacular. All right, our armies are reinforcing now, which is good. Which is good. We're really just waiting on Russia to, to accept peace. We're really just waiting on you to accept peace at this point. The French, the French Republic's dead. Russia's just... The main thing, like, Russia's just, like, so powerful. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I think we're just going to sit on it for the time being. I think that's going to be our best bet. Uh, let's see here. We're still losing money pretty heavily. We're losing 38 pounds a day. Let's raise tariffs to 50%. I think that's going to be okay. We could probably drop military maintenance some. There we go. We're making a bunch of money suddenly. Uh, ooh, reactionary and consciousness. Give me that. Thank you. Yeah, we're making a bunch of... Oh, we lowered uh, land maintenance all the way. That's why. I was like, wait, why are we making so much money? That's why it went all the way down. Okay. Let's see. Can we just propose peace? We have 65% war score. All right, whatever. We're just going to chill. We're going to chill on this. I Russia's not going to be able to get to us. Best I can tell. They won't be able to get military access anywhere. So that's not too bad. We're going to start working on paying back our 62,000 pounds of debt. Which is pretty ridiculous. Okay, Portugal's out of this war. Why is Portugal out? Ah, the French invaded down here. Interesting. I forgot the French Republic had that. So Portugal's out. That's not good. A Russian army has appeared suddenly. Which is fine. We'll be able to go deal with that. They do have... A peace offer? Yes! We did it! Guys, we did it! Give me Artois! Oh, that's so good. We took Artois. Oh, that's amazing. We beat France in a war. We took Artois. We're going to open these factories back up immediately. Start subsidizing them. We're building a liquor distillery there. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Switzerland wants an alliance. We have to manually increase relations with Switzerland because we cannot actually have an alliance with them, unfortunately. One of the many features of uh, one of the many features of HFM is there's a uh, built-in uh, 
It's like a built-in feature that keeps uh, blah, 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 Switzerland neutral. There we go. So we're back up to 400 pounds a day, which is awesome. We can start repaying some of this debt. We're just going to leave time running while we do this, I think. Okay, let's just repay all of it. There we go. Uh, prestige. Uh, ooh. Yeah, no, let's, the Great Eastern uh, Crisis, I do believe, is related to the Balkans. So let's see what happens here. Uh, sure. Trouble is brewing. Uh, co okay, let's check. Let's check this. Crisis. Uh, the German Empire is supporting Poland, actually. Greece wants an alliance. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. Hmm, let's, let's see. Who's going to support this? Um, let's see. You're sending a fesh... Uh, okay, we'll do that. It gets us a little prestige. Let's just keep an eye on that. We're going to go back to speed five now since we're no longer at war. Let's repay another loan. As much of it as we can. There we go. We're down to 41,000 pounds of debt. I'm try I keep trying to say ducats. Oh, that's hilarious. I keep trying to say ducats. So since we just fought the Russians, there, you know what? I'm actually kind of tempted. We're going to uh, take military spending all the way back up to get these guys reinforced. Then again, we don't have the soldiers. Ooh, rebels have risen in Spain. Can he deal with them? Can Spain deal with them? No. We're going to have to uh we're going to have to go down there. There's not actually we can't go down there cuz we don't have yeah, naval access. Fortunately though, we do have uh we can go up to 30 ships now, which is awesome. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we haven't really focused on Navy at all, so I don't want to build any more clippers. I guess uh, we'll attach you guys. We'll send one army down to Spain. We need uh, we need military access, so we'll get military access. There we go. Spain has given us access. Let's go ahead and land our troops. That should be just fine. We're not taking the full stack. We're just taking enough down to deal with it. All right, crisis. Um, I mean, I'm not really interested in joining in this crisis, honestly. Although I wouldn't mind seeing the Russian Empire weakened a fair bit. I definitely would not mind that in the slightest. Let's go ahead and send this 23 stack over to wreck these rebels. Uh, yeah, we'll gain some more consciousness in Wallone. You mean find someone? You mean, uh, fired someone? Yep. That's fine. I don't want to in, uh, delete our factory or have our factory. Ooh. Research points and prestige or just pure research points? We're going to get the research points and prestige because I love prestige. As you guys should, uh, probably figured out by now, I do love me some prestige. All right, so we're going to go back to some industry techs now. Let's go ahead and get semi-automization up because we are, we are an industrial powerhouse. At least that's kind of the whole goal of this campaign is to be an industrial powerhouse i do want to research steamer tech at some point at some point who are the great powers now japan is a great power we knocked france out of the great power list with that war that is spectacular load you guys up on the ships we'll send the ships back up to uh dunkirk i believe we'll have dunkirk be our new uh naval point uh brazil we'll go ahead and uh, ally with things do not bode well that's not good let's go ahead and continue manually increasing relations with the swiss yeah okay so we need to uh, also expel the advisors of austria 28th we'll be able to do that get out you have no more influence there now go away we may lose switzerland out of our sphere and i th i mean that's not going to be the end of the world by any means but I mean, I didn't, I don't want to. I definitely don't want to. Beer halls, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll take beer halls. semi automization should be done relatively soon. 4th of April, in fact, we'll have that done. Lovely stuff. Are we getting to the point where we can pick up more culture text? No, this spawns in 1900. This spawns in five years, so that's not bad. Hmm, I think we should probably pick up some of these other culture texts too. Let's see, crisis. Is this going to go to a war? It might go to a war. I'm really tempted to support. Prestige penalty for not taking a side. 50. I'm really tempted to support the German Empire, although we did just fight a really nasty war. You know what? Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to support the Germans. 
We'll see what actually happens. We'll probably get called into this war. Oh, hey, we have another national focus. Lovely stuff. What's the, uh, what's the ideology over here? That's not bad. How is the production? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and close this uh, liquor distill. No, I want to close it. I didn't want to open it back up, damn it. Let's go ahead and close that. We'll put hiring priority here. Let's see. We need to upgrade some factories as well. Um, I guess let's upgrade this fact, the explosive steel mill and the artillery factory there. We'll put a massive hiring priority in the one in Wallone. Do you have our third national focus now though? So I think let's go for intellectuals and see. We don't need too many intellectuals here. That's not bad. Once we get up to uh, 3%, we should be good. I mean, our literacy is fine. It's 81%. That's pretty awesome. We get oh, a lot of research points out of it. So we probably should start encouraging some clerks. There we go. Semi-automization. Um, rich strata can go more socialist. That's fine. The rich strata is much smaller. Uh, let's see. Profit. Social responsibility. That's fine. We'll do that. Uh, we did take industry. Let's see here. You know what? We could take organic chemistry. When does electricity spawn? 1880, actually. I wouldn't mind taking all of this stuff. I mean, we have plenty of mill tech right now. Culture... Let's get phenomenalism. No. Nationalism, imperialism? Nah. Commerce. We should probably get some commerce tax, honestly. It's been a... Okay, let's get ad hoc bill printing and late classical theory. Let's just pick up those two real quick tax. Oh. All right. We're at war with Russia. You mean Germany's at war with Russia? Ha ha! And Austria. Who else are we at war with? Yeah, just Germany and Austria. That's fine. I will help. I'm gonna go siege things. Let's go siege Linz. Nope, I'm not being helpful. Okay, we're not being helpful. We're not being helpful. We're sending our troops home. <laughs> we're not being helpful. I just wanted to join because I thought we would get a... Uh... Ah! Rebels. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Let's go ahead and group these armies up. I'm pretty sure this army was part of that initially. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll go hunt rebels with that stack. And then we'll do the same with both of these stacks, actually. We'll just have them both hunt rebels. That's going to be just fine, I think. Yeah, we should be able to beat these rebels fairly easily. Our military technology is much better now than it was at the start of that war. There we go. Rebels are down. Lovely stuff lovely stuff let's see how many yeah france is still number 10 they only they still only have three brigades which i find hilarious you guys are still hunting that's fine you go to brussels that's okay yeah that's fine let's go ahead and continue manually increasing relations with switzerland people are still trying to influence switzerland which isn't surprising we'll probably lose it to italy or uh France is my guess. Or Italy or Austria, excuse me. Yep, we're totally involved in this war, guys. Totally involved. Um, Let's go ahead and reform the administration. I think that's going to be just fine. I think we can actually pay back a uh, good bit of our... Yeah, let's pay back most of our debt here. That was most of it, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we don't even need to be involved in this war, honestly. We'll probably get some prestige from being involved in it. That's the main reason I wanted in. Uh, let's go ahead and get late classical theory. And then we'll get some more... Cult nah, what is this? Commerce? Yes, we'll get some more commerce techs. I think we'll probably get some naval techs as well to get some uh, steamships up and on the go. Since we can now build a decent-sized navy after all. Yeah, we, we don't need to help here. This war is over. This war is over. Uh, Where? Uh, maybe we should talk about that. Ooh, that's a lot of prestige. Fine. We'll take the flashpoint tension. What's the flashpoint tension at here? Pretty low. Pretty low at this point. That's not bad. It's going down, so, yeah. No, we're gonna be fine. This war is over. We definitely did not to need to participate in any way, shape, or form. And now we can repay the last of our debt. There we go, and we are 100% debt-free. 
That was an expensive war against France. I will say that was definitely not a cheap war against France. Okay, so we don't need to encourage intellectuals here anymore. Let's get some soldiers going then. We're trying to get conservative influences here in our main two states, but I think that's going to be okay. Oh, the war's over. Hey, Poland's a thing. That's cool. Congress Poland. Interesting. I don't think I've actually seen that before. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. We are building a machine parts factory somewhere. Projects. Uh, textile mill in Belgian Rhineland. I'm not super interested in that, honestly. All right, so there is uh, commerce, or culture. Uh, yeah, no, that was a commerce tech. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get scientific management. I think that's going to be fine. We do need some more commerce techs. We'll get some industry techs, some naval techs. We'll get caught up on the... Uh, Military techs as well. Let's check France. Yeah, they're at 14 of 30. How is Germany? They're probably at 20 of 30. 14 of 30. We or That's Austria. Um, That's fine. Yeah, that's Austria. Let's check uh, German Empire. Yeah, they're on 18 of 30. So that's not surprising that they have much better... <clears throat> much better uh, mil tech than we do. I'm. You know what? <clears throat> Excuse me, we're not going to worry about Switzerland anymore. It's just, I, don't, I really don't think it's going to be worth doing it. Uh, let's see here. Transportation. Sure, let's do that. Reform the penal system. They will build roads and stuff for us. Do we not have railroads here? I was, I was so confused. Like, why do we not have railroads here? <laughs> no, they're building. They're building very slowly. Our steel mill in... Uh, Vlaterin is about to be upgraded, which is uh, very nice. We're going to put a hiring priority there. Let's switch this over to clerks, because I want more clerks in our country. We're not upgrading anything down along here just yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade this winery, I think, actually. That's going to be good. That is definitely going to be good. But on that note, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today's episode of Victoria 2. So as always, I want to thank you for tuning in, spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys are enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out and subscribe for more Grand Strategy content in the future. My name is Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we will catch you in the next one.